What's up party people? In this follow-up video, I'll be showing you guys how to integrate Stripe with your WooCommerce website. Now, I recently had an e-commerce tutorial where I showed you guys how to make this website. If you guys haven't seen it yet, go ahead and check it out. It's a great tutorial. Also, this one right here, uh, I'll be releasing this in about a week and a half, and this is where we create a multi-vendor e-commerce website where you guys will get this layout for free. Also in this video, I'll be giving you guys a free layout that is password protected. So make sure to stay till the end of this video. Now, first things first, we need to go ahead and integrate Stripe with this website here. So let's do that. Now, the first thing that we're gonna have to do is we will need to go ahead and install a plugin that integrates Stripe and your website. So you'll go over here to plugins, right? Go to add new and just type in Stripe, good old Stripe. And uh, this is the plugin that you guys will need. It is Stripe. Or WooCommerce Stripe Payment Gateways. So you make sure you guys have that activate and then go ahead and install it. All right, pretty simple. Once you guys do that, we're going to go to our WooCommerce settings. So first, let me go to my dashboard here. I'm using a, I'm using a new network because I have so many websites. We kind of network them all together <laughs> with WordPress. So, uh, but the next thing you'll do is go to WooCommerce and go to settings. And you need to turn that plugin on. So let's go over here to payments. And you're gonna make sure that this is turned on. So Stripe, turn this on, and then click on Manage. Once you guys do that, you want to make sure Stripe is enabled. Now, a lot of people click on this little button and they go through Stripe, but a lot of the times, guys, it doesn't work and you have to just do it manually. You know, I've tried it several times and it just doesn't work, you know, so we have to do it manually. So you'll go to stripe.com. And if you guys haven't used Stripe, uh, this is a free service. It doesn't cost you guys anything. They only charge you guys a transaction fee once you guys sell, so that's pretty cool. And once you guys sign up, it'll bring you to your dashboard. So this is my current Stripe account. Now, the first thing that I wanna do is enable this in test mode. So I just wanna see if this is connected, right? Once I select test mode, I'm going to click on developers. And then from here, we'll click on API keys. And this is the key I need to copy and paste on my e-commerce website. So let's go back to our website here. And oh, first thing I need to do is enable uh, test mode. And then I want to go ahead and paste that in there like that. You guys can see I already did this before. And then you'll go back to your sites and then you'll take the secret key and then we're gonna paste that bad boy right there. There we go. Okay, so now that we've done that, usually that before that was like the end of the process, but now we have to add a webhook endpoint uh, after we uh, add those uh, keys in. So let's go back over here. Now that we've entered that in, we need to go to webhooks and then we'll click on add an endpoint over here. All right, and we need to paste in the URL. So go back to your sites and they've already given us the URL. Just go ahead and copy this. And then we'll go to, oh, sorry. We'll go ahead and uh, paste that there. And this is used to capture payments. This, here we go. This is, wait, 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 wait. Used to capture payments. I know I type bad guys and that's just because I have the microphone in front of me and it's really hard to, it's really hard to like, you know, type and not see the keyboard and talk at the same time. Uh, so after you guys uh, put that in there, you'll click on select events and then click on charge. And then you wanna select charge captured and then click on add events. All right, so now that that's done, we will go ahead and go to reveal under the signing secrets. So I'm gonna take that, copy it, and then go back to our website and then we're going to paste that in there like that. All right, so now that we've done that, uh, I'm gonna uncheck this and I'm going to also, yeah. Uh, one thing I do recommend is to add a statement descriptor. This tells the user who charged them. So you wanna put the name of your website and you wanna make sure that you capture charge immediately. Once you guys have inserted all that information, you'll go to the bottom and click on save changes. All right, so now that our changes have been saved, let's go ahead and run a live transaction to see if the changes are live. So let's go to our website and let's go ahead and buy something. Visit store, they have visit site and visit store. I guess this brings us to the shop, doesn't really matter. I'll just go ahead and buy something here and view the cart and proceed to checkout. Here we go. And then we'll scroll down and make sure everything is entered in there. And then we'll go ahead and uh, put in our credit card. Now, um, if you guys are in test mode, just do uh, 424242 all the way across, that works and then just throw in some random numbers and a random uh, CVC. It doesn't matter, you know, we're just in test mode and we're just uh, testing the API. Once that's done, you'll click on place order. 
All right, cool. So now we can see that the order has been received and let's go back to our website over here, the Stripe website and go to the homepage. Now we should see a new charge of $45. Now I can already tell that this worked because this is at number two, but if you guys do wanna see if this has been charged, you'll click on payments and now you'll see that uh, this has $45 and this has succeeded. So that's, that's awesome. So we know it's working. You guys can see all these other people on YouTube are, are, are testing out my, uh, you know, everyone's buying stuff, you know, it's just so funny. Like everyone goes on my side and buys random stuff. But uh, now that we've done that, we need to uh, add live mode. So to add live mode, we're just going to uncheck test mode and we're going to do the same process all over again. So let's do that. Let's go over here to our, uh, what is it? Our developer section. And then we're going to go to API keys. And then we're gonna take this, uh, publishable key, right? Now let's go back to our site here and let's just go back to our dashboard. Okay. And then we're going to go to, uh, where's it? The, the WooCommerce, right? Settings. And then payments again. So we're just going to go through the same process again, one last time and just make sure everything's good. Uh, Stripe manage. Cause I know if I leave out one step, people are going to be like, oh my God, this video was, this, this wasn't, this wasn't what I signed up for, man. <laughs> You know, I get it. Uh, so we entered in the publishable key, right? And then we have to enter in the secret key. Okay, so just go ahead and paste that in there like that. All right, good. Now we need to do the same thing for the webhook endpoints. So let's go back here and go to webhooks and we will add an endpoint and we'll do the same exact thing. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this over here. I don't know why I'm doing that. You know, it's like, you know, you know, when you're working and there's so many tabs open, you just like get, you go crazy. You're like, where am I? You don't even know where you're working at anymore. Uh, go ahead and paste the endpoint URL right there. And then, you know, this is used to charge credit cards. And then under select events, we'll click on charge, charge captured, add events, and then add the endpoint. And then here we have the signing secret. Just reveal this. We will copy this and just paste that in your website and you are all done. You can now start accepting payments on your website. Now make sure that this is uh, checked. If you guys do not have this checked, uh, Stripe will actually hold these transactions in a pending state and you'll have to approve it. And that can lead to people actively not purchasing stuff on your website. So make sure you have that checked and then click on save changes. And that's it, you're done. Your website is now integrated with Stripe. Now there is one requirement that you guys will need to have. You will need to have an SSL. I think most hosting companies offer SSLs now for free. If you guys don't have an SSL, I highly recommend to go to Name Hero. Uh, I'll leave a link below to Name Hero Hosting if you guys decide to try them out. Now let's talk about this free layouts. So this free layout, the password is Cabana. So C-A-B-A-N-A, -A. it's the name of the actual layout. And you guys can actually go to my website and you can uh, enter it in here. So just click on this and it's going to ask you for a password. Now I already, already entered the password guys. So, uh, yeah, now there is one thing that you guys will need to have. You guys will need to have Elementor pro for these layouts. You guys can use the free version, but you only get bits and parts of the actual layout. So here we have like just a beautiful layout, multiple shop pages, multiple product pages. It's a beautiful layout and you guys can import this on your entire website. I'll be including a link here on the actual product page with instructions on how to do that. We're using the uh, Elementor Toolkit. So for example, once you download this, you'll go back to your website here. I'll just go ahead and show you guys my back end. I know everyone likes to see my, you know, people like to see the back end of my website and stuff like that. You'll go over here to, where is Elementor? Where, there it is. No, I'm sorry, templates. You'll go to templates and you'll go to, wait, no, no, no. Sorry, tools, Elementor and then tools. Blah, man, I cannot talk today, guys. Sorry, sorry. It's a, been a long day you know i've recorded a lot of videos it's just been it's been a hectic week and then you'll click on import and exports and then you will import that toolkit and that will go ahead and uh, import your entire website so you'll just drag and drop it there import the kits and your whole website will be up and running to this beautiful shop page or this beautiful e-commerce website i hope you guys like it we have a lot more coming uh, i have probably 15 layouts that we've been working on and i plan to give them out for black friday and you know, just throughout the year, just to show some appreciation for you guys for subscribing and watching my channel. So I hope this video helped you guys out. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And I will see all of you party people in the next video, guys. Take care.